Okay, you ready? Yeah. Here. Cut that. Cut that for mom. Nope. We're we're doing a video. Are you ready? Okay. Cut that for mom. All right. So, hi, I'm Ashley, and this is my little ninja turtle, Javelle. And um, for those of you that don't know me, I just be saying, here, honey, come cut this for mom. Cut it. Can you cut it? Like this. Cut it like this. There, look. Can you cut it right there? Yeah. Okay. So, for those of you that don't know me, I just became a Pampered Chef consultant, and for about seven months I've been teaching uh, paleo cooking classes to kids and adults over at Back to Basics Cooking. And, oh, wow, look at, look at you. And um, so today we're going to do a video, and I'm going to show you a couple different things. I'm going to show you how to make guacamole, really simple and easy. I'm going to show you how some Pamper Chef products can help you do that a lot easier. And I'm going to show you how to get your little kiddo involved. And um, sometimes you have to give them tasks to keep them busy while you're doing stuff. And as long as they're safe, that's okay. And he is safe because this knife right here, he's not able to cut himself at all with that. So um, that's called My Safe Cutter. And that's going to be product 2904. All right, so now we're going to, and I have a very sharp knife here, so we're going to make sure we keep that very far from him just so he doesn't grab it. So now we're going to get our manual food processor. I don't know what I would do without this, and it's great. Um, it's so much easier to clean up than a regular food processor, and we can make this without this, but it's not going to be as creamy. So it's really nice to have. So we're going to take two to three avocados, and <laughs> have our little guy help us here. Okay, Javel, what we're going to do is we're going to put that in here. Okay, honey? You help mommy? Mm. Okay. Okay, this is very sharp, so keep it away from your little ones. It will cut them. All right, can you grab that? Okay. Grab your knife. Get all that out of there for mommy? No? You want me to help? Okay, well, good job. What a big helper. Alright, so we're going to get all the avocado out. There's a big seed in here. We don't want to get that out, so use your hand if you want. Mmm. Yeah. Use your utility knife. This is a five inch utility knife. As I said, it's really sharp. Just trim your ends off. Trim your ends off. And if you got your little ones by you, just watch their hands and make sure they don't grab for it. Get your peel off. You can use a spoon. You don't have to get so dirty, but where's the fun in that? You can use two to three avocados, it doesn't really matter. Trim your ends. Yeah. Alright, so now, just come here, honey. Just take your citrus press, which is item number 2595 in the catalog. Now you can do this on your own also, but it's a lot harder and you're not going to get near, near as much juice out of it. So you just cut it in half, stick it in there. Hey, Javelle, come here, honey. Do you want to do this? Come here. Come here, honey. Help me with this. Oh, Mama. Come squeeze it. Here. You don't want to do it? You don't want to do it? Yeah. Okay, ready? Oh, my goodness. Get it all out. Oh, squeeze it hard. There you go. Alright, so the kids usually have fun with that. You see how much juice we got out of just a half a lemon. If we would have did that by hand, it would not have been so much. So, that's nice. And uh, the nice thing is if it's, you use limes, um, I'm sorry, if you use lemon, 
the, the seeds uh, will not come out into your food. So that's always nice. So we just do that. All right, Javel, come here. This is the fun part. Come here. This is your favorite part. What are you laughing for? Come over here. Okay, some salt. Just a few shakes. This actually sea salt. We got some black pepper. All right, that's a lot of pepper. Here you go, honey. You want some garlic powder? Put that in there. Put it in there. All right, as you can see, you have no trouble with that. We'll put our blade back in there. Make sure it's firm. Come here, Jabelle. Come here, honey. Hey, sweetheart, come here. You want to push this? Yeah. Okay, come here. All right, so he always likes to do this. Um, and you just got to watch their little fingers if they don't pinch them. See how easy that was? He did that without any help from me. He's kind of a pro at this, so sometimes you just got to hold hold the lid. Want to do it one more time? Yeah. Do it one more time for Mom? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Mix it up. Yeah. You do it. Show, show everybody how it's done. Yeah. There you go. All right. Mom, we're going to do it one more time. All right. And another thing that I really like about this is... When you get done mixing, if you don't want them to worry about them pinching their little fingers, <laughs> you can also make a game out of this. Um, you just push it down, and there's a lock right here, and you just push it over, and it locks, and it stays close by itself, and so you don't have to worry about them getting into it when you're not looking. It travels better that way also. And they just came out with, well, I'm not sure if they just came out with it, but I just found out about the storage lid. It's so simple, but I immediately thought of my guacamole because I usually can't eat it all when I make it. So then I have the dilemma of do I take it out and put it in another container and make another dirty dish, or do I just let it go bad? So now I don't have to choose. I can just pop the lid on. It's airtight, and then guacamole will stay good a lot longer. So you could buy the storage by itself is only three dollars. That is item number 2588 or item number 2592. You can get the storage lid and an extra container for only 1550. And so then you can use this and your cutter, mix something else up while you got this in the fridge. So I was very, very excited about this and I will be getting a couple of those because I use this all the time. So um, that is a quick quick simple, easy way to make some guacamole, and that's another way that Pamper Chef can make your life easier. So, check out my page, and message me if you have any questions. Thanks. Say bye! 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 Alright. You can also add chopped up onions and chopped up tomatoes into here, um, into your guacamole if you want to. We're having this on hamburgers today that have caramelized onions in them already, so that's why I didn't put any onions, and we're just out of tomatoes. But that's another excellent addition, as well as if you want to put a little bit of cilantro. All right. Thanks, and have a good day.